What's going on? What are you filming? Oh my god! Did you know I was filming? <laughs> no, I heard you talking to yourself, so I was like, I'm gonna go mess with you. Okay! Um, that's one heck of a way to start a video. Wow, that is Bonsell for you. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another one. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say that this video is brought to you by Shop. Carl's. For those of you that don't know what Shop Carl's is, I don't know why you wouldn't, but for those of you that don't know, Shop Carl's is the best place on the internet to get the coolest, the latest, the most creative, the cheapest, the best baits on the internet, Shop Carl's. As a matter of fact, if you guys click the link in the description, you guys can save 30% by checking out Shop Carl's Club. It's an awesome way to save money. I do it. I think you guys should do it because who doesn't like saving a little bit of extra change? I recently just actually ordered something right here from Shop Carl's and I got a little bit too excited and already opened it, but I'm just gonna open this up for you guys and show you what's in there. Um, we got an MTV hat, pretty lit. And then I got a bunch of different baits in here. These guys right here. I got these guys right here. I'm gonna use these for my trailers for like chatter baits and whatnot. But these are the Carl's Amazing Baits by Catch Co. And these guys are gonna be really good. That's why hence I got a bunch of them. But definitely check those guys out for sure. And I got just a bunch of random like jigs, football jigs, uh, tungsten finesse jigs. And what's the one? Oh, I got a lot of these guys. You know me. Well, you know Andrew. Andrew got me hooked on them now. But I got the old chatter baits. I got a bunch of those. Literally, this box is full of jigs, chatter baits, and some hooks, I think. As you can see in there, I got all these good stuff. And these are actually going to be used in the video that you guys are going to watch today. But again, thank you to Carl's for helping me with this video. Again, if you guys want to check out Carl's, check out the link in the description below. You can save 30% on stuff, guys. It's a good deal. But we are going to get in today's video. Video. And today's video, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit all over the place. It started out, well, you're gonna see here. Basically, myself and Andrew and Hook and Hawks TV we went to some pond, and you'll find out how I did there. But then it didn't go as great for me. So then we went to a different spot with different people. And yeah, you guys will just see what I'm talking about. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. It's gonna be a little bit hoppy, but I think you guys will get the gist of it. And I hope you guys enjoy. Mm hmm, that's AM. Not PM. Sheesh, it is early, guys. It is 4.55 a.m. in the morning. It's Saturday. Right now, I'm waiting, and Andrew's coming to pick me up. And we are going to go to Hook and Hogs Juice Pond. Um, if you don't know who Hook and Hogs is, I fish with him a couple times, but he's just a local beauty, pretty much. And he's going to put me on some juice today, me and Andrew on some juice today. So right now, Andrew's coming to pick me up, and then we're going to bomb 40 minutes from Hook and house to his secret juice pond. Once we get there, Hooken and Andrew are gonna take the John boat that we are bringing. They're gonna bomb around on that, but unfortunately, that's kind of only room for two. So I'm, I'm being nice and I'm like, listen guys, I'll just stay on the shore. So when we get there, I'll be fishing from the shore. I'm gonna throw on the chesty and walk around, try to catch some fish for you guys. Right away, I'm probably gonna do a little bit of bass fishing on frogs just because I haven't done it yet this year. But right now, I'm gonna drink a little bit of coffee, wait for Andrew to get here, and then I will see you guys at the lake. Well, your boy made it to the lake. Hook and hogs, flare. This pond is looking pretty juicy. We're gonna fish this cut real quick, and then they're gonna go on the boat here in a sec, but I'm gonna throw the frog for a hot second and see if I can get something here. All right, starting the day off, frogging. I'm just gonna frog this little cut back here, this little creek. I don't know if they're in there, they might be. I haven't caught a, a top water fish yet this year. See ya. See ya. The boys made it out there. Look at them. They don't know what they're doing. All right, so right now I'm starting with the frog. And what my plan is, I'm just going to work this parallel. Throw the frog parallel. If I don't catch anything, I'm going to go back and throw the old swim bait parallel. I think I should catch a fish here. I mean, it's pretty, pretty good. Looking pretty good right now. Like I said, I haven't caught a fish on the frog yet this year. So I'm going to make that happen today. We're 
right now we got pretty good conditions for the frog it's kind of overcast not much chop just a little bit so pretty good conditions to throw the frog might be a little bit early it's may right now in omaha and these bass should be starting to hit the frogs but it may be a little bit too early this water's probably not too hot but hey i want to catch one on a frog so i'm gonna keep trying it all right we're moving i'm gonna give andrew and hook in some space so i'm gonna go to the other side of the lake i don't know hopefully something works out oh yeah this looks juicy oh yeah right here is the juice this is gonna be the juice right here oh wow Oh, wow. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh, he hit it on the drop. As soon as it hit the freaking water, he hammered it. Oh, my. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh, boys, this is a big fish. Oh, God. What do I, what do, I do? What do I do? All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. As soon as my frog hit the freaking water, it just annihilated it. Oh, geez, boys. I don't know what to do here. I'm in the pickle here. Oh, yes, that's a good fish. Oh my goodness, come here, yes sir. Oh my God, as soon, literally as soon as my bait hit the freaking water, like my frog was just gone. I was like, oh crap, that's a fish. Oh, first fish of the year for me, oh my gosh. This looks kind of spawned out though, honestly, but, but I'm glad I had that heavy setup. Um, I'm throwing like, like I think 65 pound braid and then an extra heavy 7.3. It let me literally just haul this thing out. And what I did, I paralleled cast this little bank right here. There's like these breeds, freaking chowder. Yes, that's a good one. All right, not a bad fish. That's awesome. It's my first fish on top water this year. So that was sick. See that again? See ya. Freaking, that was insane, dude. I literally paralleled this freaking bank right here. And as soon as my frog hit the freaking water, it just could chowder. And that was honestly more of like a reaction bite, I bet. If he hit it that fast, I'm thinking that was just like a reaction bite. But, you know, I'll freaking take it. That was, he was right, like, honestly hugging that bank. That was sick. Let's get him, boss. Howdy, howdy. How you doing, dude? Doing good, man. I haven't seen you. The channel hasn't seen you. In like over a year, bro. Lots changed. It's been like two years, I think. Yeah, you're right. It has been like two years. Okay, guys. It is the next day. Yesterday, it didn't go too well. Uh, the last you guys saw was me fishing with Andrew and hooking at that private pond. I ended up catching only one fish that whole day. It was pretty rough because I'm going to blame it on Andrew and hooking. They, I let them take the bank. Or no, I let them take the boat and I was on the bank. So those two were bombing around the boat. They ended up catching around 20 fish and I was stuck on the bank by myself and I caught one. That's why I am linking up with the 402 legend, Lucas. I haven't seen I haven't seen him in a long time, like I was saying. It's been a really long time. It's been a long time. But now that I'm living back in Omaha, we're gonna start fishing together a lot more because this kid's always, always on the juice, always on the juice. Yeah, so I always like, if I'm always struggling, I'm just gonna text him and be like, hey Lucas, uh, are you catching fish anywhere? So we're gonna hit a few ponds today um, and hopefully finish out this video for you guys. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but I want to catch some fish. Dude, that corner is going to be good. I'm going to do it, dude. That's where they're going to be, bro. That's what 100% what they're going to be. They're going to be right in that pocket, dude. Bro, I'm about to slap. I, I, I just got a feeling. Oh, boys, we're giving her the full Canadian two-step. Ah, making my way into a windblown point. You guys probably can't hear Oh, this is going to be the juice right here. I'm calling it. I'm on a windblown point. Oh gosh, I'm gonna hammer. There we go, there's one. That was pretty, I think it was pretty good. I'm on this windblown point. I kind of called my shot here. I figured this would be the best place to throw the old chatterbait. Oh yeah, it's not bad. But this water is a lot more stained than the other side of the lake. This lake over here is basically muddy. Yeet. Yeah, just a little guy. There it is. All right, so like I said, I'm just fishing this windblown point right now. I don't know how much you guys can hear me, but it's super, super, super muddy right here. Like it looks like chocolate milk I'm throwing the black and blue chatterbait. And there's kind of like the mud line. There's like clear water just about, I don't know, f like 15 to 20 feet in front of me. And I throw right, like right where it gets clear and muddy. And that's where this guy was hanging. So that could be something, but finally got a first fish of the day. That's awesome. See ya.
there's one. There we go. There's another one, boys. Ooh, this one, okay. Yup, this one's definitely bigger than the other one. That's a giant, that's a giant, that's a giant, that's a giant, that's a giant. Keep him low, keep him low. As again, just on that trans. No, he came off, did he come off? That was a big one. Oh, that, hook, that was a big fish. Son of a biscuit. Don't do that at home, folks. Ah, uh, there goes the chatterbait. Oh, there's one. That's not that big. We'll take him though. Yeah, we'll take him. Son of a gun, dude. Uh, he might not be that bad. He's bigger than my first one, but he's not as big as that one I just lost. Oh, I had no faith in the old swim jig, but it came through. It came through. Not a bad one. This one's definitely bigger than my first one. I had doubt in the old swim jig because it's not what I thought was going to work, but you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? See you later, guy. But they're, they're like, they're, they're all on beds right here. Yeah. Yes. I've had one bite me like right where my frog is right now. And then there's that one right there. Oh, 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 what? Oh, that's a big one. What? Dude. I can't open my bail. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Don't break him, don't break him off, don't break him off. That was sick. You were literally, you literally caught that like on top water. Here, I'll go down there. That's a big oh, one, dude. That's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one, bro. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, dude. that's a giant, bro. Oh my, oh my God. God. <laughs> bro, that's a freaking big one. Four and a half. That's gotta be four and a half, bro. That's a big one. That thing's a giant. That was a crazy catch though, dude. Four, eight, two. I, I knew, Stop. dude, that's almost a five, bro. Let's go. Oh my God, let me see that thing, dude. Holy cow. We're gonna snag some picks, then let the beast go. Okay, so that was a, okay, I didn't see how it hooked, but like, dude, that was a crazy bite. Literally, Lucas came up, we've seen bedding fish right here, and we've seen them like chasing, like kind of waking and chasing bluegill off their beds. And Lucas threw a weightless Sanko in there. I told him to come over here. I'm like, dude, throw it in there. Throws it in there, and he's like almost burning it in and make another cast. And a big, big weight comes and just murks his his like uh, Senko, like basically on the top water. It was really cool. That was like one of the coolest fish catches I've seen yet this year. This guy, this guy right here catches biggins. Right there. So as I'm editing this video, I kind of didn't want to end it right there. I actually want to throw in one more clip. Um, this is going to be on Andrew's channel. I don't know if it's out there yet, but I had one really special moment uh like fishing moment it's gonna go on his channel uh, and i didn't want it just to go on his channel i wanted it to go on mine as well so i'm gonna throw this clip in here um for you guys to watch but basically andrew and myself we were fishing in the 10 pounder at a random lake and i caught a big mama and i just wanted to share this moment with you guys uh because it's pretty cool I gotta restock. I gotta restock that wall again and get that. I need to clean my garage maybe this week. Saturday or something. Fish up ripping. There we go. Get him, son. Oh, that's a biggin, dude. Get him, dude, that's son. a biggin on the trench, daddy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Chill. Chill, dude. Chill. Chill on the trench, daddy. Dude, that's a big on the brush pile, dude. On the brush, he's ripping drag, oh, dude. Oh god, don't lose him. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lose him. Oh god, don't get in that motor. Don't get in that motor. You're gonna break your rod. <laughs> no, bro. dude. Look at that fish. That's a big one. Chew. I bet she. She's five. She's I in the five. five. I think she's in the fives. Five two nine. Just an absolute giant on a laydown. Andrew was flipping a different laydown, and I decided to cast it a different one and on the trench daddy that was sick absolutely beauty <sighs> yeah so that video was a little bit all over the place i am sorry it started out me andrew and hooking and then it transitioned to my friend lucas and then it transitioned back to andrew like just i am so sorry guys thank you for sticking with me there but i apparently can't catch fish in one trip so that's why i had to combine three thank you so much for watching today's episode remember go check out carl's to hook you up fat with baits and good prices and all that good stuff that's where i shop and that's where you guys should shop too so check out that link anything else austin anything else
at me on Instagram. Buy Mindac merch. You got some good merch. Long sleeve, short sleeve, hats. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, we have merch actually, guys, if you guys didn't know. So uh, it helps out the channel. So if you guys wanna go check out my own Mindac merch, I'll leave a link for that as well. Um, yeah, go follow him on Instagram too, I guess. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.